What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Let's start with something you just don't see every day. How about this? This is a Japanese import, 1987 Nissan BE-1. Right hand drive, manual transmission, air conditioning, aftermarket wheels. It's only got about 48,000 miles on the odometer. How cool is this i kind of think i might want to throw a bid on this car guys there's something about it let's take a quick look at the interior oh yeah i love this little thing this thing is epic man i'm telling you if it runs and drives guys we're going to put a bid on this one for sure okay most of you have seen this car by now unfortunately i thought the video views were going to do great on this little car this belongs to me or at least it did it's since been sold and now it's sitting in the uh, the sold aisle over here. But I just had to stop and take a look at it because this is the last time, well, it's the last time we're going to see it. I'm not sure where it went. I'm not sure who bought it. Hopefully it was somebody that watches the YouTube videos. It had to be because nobody else would want this thing. <laughs> nobody else would want this. I haven't seen this car in, uh, God, I don't know, it's been about, I'd say it's probably been about a week. Uh, at, at least four or five days anyway. 78,000 kilometers. Let's just see if it fires up, because she's had to have been sitting for a while out here. I'm glad it's still here. I was hoping some of my other ones were here. Fired right up. Yep, somebody already turned the air conditioning on. Doesn't work. It blows air, but it doesn't work. Look at that. <laughs> All reliable, man. I'll tell you what. It's reliable. Carbureted. Oh, this is, it's such an interesting car. I wish I knew who bought the dang thing, but oh well, it is what it is, man. Hopefully somebody will uh, leave a comment in this video or something and say, hey, I bought that car. I'm surprised it's still here recently. I think just two days ago, my 84 Chevy C20 was picked up and it's not here. So I'm guessing transport already shipped it down the road. Either that or it could be sitting at the sub lot. My Porsche is gone. The Cadillac ELR is gone. So many of my vehicles, guys, I have sold them. And they are, they are out of here. Now, here's the one that I really wanted to show you guys. It, it wasn't this one. I just kind of had to say goodbye to the little Nissan. It's this thing right here. I can only assume this is some type of an older Land Rover. And it is awesome. It's too bad that it's not up for bids. It's already sold. But we can take a quick look at it anyway. An 87 Land Rover Defender. This thing, it's awesome. It, 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 this is all riveted all over the hood. I don't think it came that way, guys. <laughs> I think somebody aftermarketed this, but I could be wrong. Like, who's gonna, this is like for standing on it or something. And then all over down here, also riveted in. But then again, there's the same type of rivets all over the rest of the truck. So maybe that's factory. Somebody's gonna have to comment below. I know nothing about these. All I know is this thing is super cool, man. Super cool. From the back, it kind of looks like a ginormous mail truck. That's what I think of. When I see it from the back, it's like, that is a big mail truck. It's right-hand drive as well, so on the inside it's going to kind of resemble the mail truck as well, except, you know, with all-wheel drive, probably a V8 under the hood. This thing is freaking awesome. Look at the interior. Look at that headliner. Look at the speakers. Oh, and it smells. And it's a manual? Manual transmission. Manual gearbox. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Hood pop. Let's see. You've got jump seats in the back. This is a legit Land Rover, guys. Not that crap they build today. You know what I mean? <laughs> this isn't that. I was gonna say, listen to this door. Like Hoobie's garage. Huh. That's, that's no good. Try to. Great. Come on. Okay. I guess you don't have to push the, uh, the button on the door to open it just uh, it just opens. Let's see how you open this uh, how you open this hood. I wanted to do like Hoobie's garage. Listen to this door close. Oh, that's broken. So that's nice, and it's definitely not a V8. Looks like maybe an inline six. Is it a four banger? No way. It's got to be diesel. It's got to be a diesel four cylinder. That's the only thing that makes any sense. Yeah, I do believe this is a diesel four cylinder. Be very gentle closing this down 
Oh, good Lord. You know what, the more that I look at this thing, the more that I think it's kind of a heap. There we go, I got the hood closed. This isn't one that I'm gonna mess around with putting a jump pack or anything like that on it. Obviously, it's already sold, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna really mess around with it too much. I've never seen one of these, so forgive me. I'm sure some of you out there are Land Rover enthusiasts. Oh yeah, that's diesel for sure. <laughs> you can't mistake the smell of diesel fuel. One of the great things about diesel is that it lasts forever. Maybe not forever, it will turn, it will get algae in it, things like that, but diesel fuel can last for years and years. You can go out to something that was parked 10 years ago, and half the time you go out there, it fires right up. Diesel's pretty cool, man. I, and this is honestly pretty awesome, but it, it is kinda, yeah, it's, it's a little rough. It looks decent. <laughs> <laughs> but underneath all that, she's uh, she's a little rough. And why this door doesn't close, I I don't know. It's not jammed up. You can clearly see the little uh, the little lever there is right where it needs to be. This looks like there's nothing wrong with it. The striker, uh, the door just doesn't close. So interesting. I don't know if it's got keys. It does. It's dead. No, it's not. Oh God, it's got lights on the dash. Are you kidding me? Oh no, should we 211,000 miles on the odometer? Wow. Oh my. I'm not gonna try to start it, guys. I want to more than anything. Believe me, I really do. But like I said, this is a sold unit. I just kind of wanted to showcase it. And you guys can tell me what you think, man, because I know absolutely nothing about these. Oh, the door closed. Ha, now you know what? We're going to leave it that way. <laughs> we ain't messing with it. You got the snorkel for going through all the deep water and terrain. I'll bet it's a hell of a capable vehicle, man. I really do. This thing is super cool, in my opinion, but at the same time, kind of rough, which makes it perfect for the channel. It's too bad it's sold. It's probably worth a fortune. And speaking of Land Rovers, let's just take a look, okay? Old, the old heavy-duty utilitarian Land Rover, and new... I have lots of money. I can afford to lose a ton of money in depreciation, and I want people to know it. The new Land Rover. Sorry, Range Rover, same difference. Uh, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I would absolutely drive one. I mean, yeah, I really would. I really would. I just, I've seen too many of Sam Crack's videos. I'm terrified of these things. I've watched the man almost take his eye out trying to pull one of the direct injectors out, you know, with an engine hoist of all things, an engine hoist. He could have killed himself trying to keep one of these things running. And I got to ride in it. He picked me up from a, from a hotel with Monkey Wrench Mike in his, it looked just like this. I think his may have been a little bit nicer. It was white, absolutely stunning, beautiful, gorgeous interior. And I gotta admit, it rode nice, it ran nice, but the only thing is, is how long? Do they, <laughs> how long is that gonna last, you know? So I don't know, ooh. Ooh, good God almighty. Whoa. Um, <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> Listen, that old thing smells way better than this one. This, this smells like a combination of rotten food and mold and mildew. This is disgusting. This smells really rank. 131,000 miles. You know, for the right price, I'd buy one of these. Maybe I will. Maybe someday I'll buy one just so I can have one. I can drive it. I can see what all the fuss is about. And then I can get rid of it quickly before something breaks. But I'll be honest with you, choosing between something like this and that S63 AMG that I have, I'd take the S63 all day, every day. The S63 is far superior in every single way, except that it's not a sport utility vehicle. I got news for you guys. I think the S-Class has got more room in it than this Land Rover does, Range Rover, whatever. God, it stinks in here. I'm really taking one for the freaking team. Oh God, don't, I can't do this. No, man, can't do it. Whew. Oh, wow. Is there rotting meat back here? Like what, what? No, nothing. What is that freaking smell? What is that smell? A certain song comes to mind. You guys already know what it is. Ooh, that smell. Jeez, man. <laughs> this thing looks sharp as a tack. But uh, I'm here to tell you. Mm. 
the smell is the smell is bad i'm determined i just want to fire it up i just want to hear it run that's all i'll shut it right back off it sounds good supercharged of course probably like 500 horsepower unless this is a six cylinder yeah it sounds good oh jesus i can't stay in here <laughs> i can't do this one man i'm really trying can't do it can't not do it oh, i'd love to know how much this one went for uh 2016 land rover range rover it's got good tires the body looks great paint looks great it's got a cracked windshield heads up display i mean it's nice honestly though i like sam cracks better his was way nicer than this one guys i don't know what year his was or anything but yeah supercharged what size engine the 5.0 yeah 5.0 liter 5.0 supercharged so this thing's like over 500 horsepower yeah these things are pretty phenomenal great hood doesn't close all the way that's nice bumper sticks out just a little bit right there but i mean overall not too shabby guys for the right price i'd buy one of these i i think i think my fiance would love to drive one at the same time i literally have an s63 amg that i got and it's far superior far more horsepower too i think the, the s63 is like 576 horsepower 0 to 16 3.9 and it's massive it's huge far more luxurious on the interior than this is and it's all wheel drive so it's basically it's basically this is what it is just in a shorter platform and since i have the extended wheelbase it's probably just as long as this too so we're gonna walk around and see what else we can find out here it's still here it's been months guys my god uh you don't know how bad i want this i i know that i probably can't afford to fix it but i sure do want it this has been here since december of 2023 unfortunately somebody did tape it back up though man but look like it's open this stuff isn't designed to last forever you know what I mean? It's designed to last short term, but it ain't supposed to last forever. And of course, shout out to Exotic Driver. He actually responded to this on Instagram where people were tagging him saying, dude, your car uh, seems like a real nice guy. And uh, I think he got himself another pretty cool toy. So you may want to go check him out over on his Instagram at Exotic Driver. It's too bad this happened. I, I would love to know the story. Like, how did this happen did somebody did somebody pull out of an intersection and hit him back here i don't know what the deal is not really entirely sure why it's totaled most of the parts this is what i love about these bmw i8s they're kind of like lego in fact not just the i8 the i8 3 is the same way they're legos these pieces literally bolt and pop on and off just like lego super easy to fix that kind of stuff i mean but there is some damage it goes a little bit further under here like what is this canister not a clue something very big emissions related i'm sure there's vents and hoses uh that's probably broken you've got pieces that are ripped straight out of the aluminum under there so you know you have to figure that out but i mean you can you can weld aluminum whatever popped off of there you could buy the piece and weld the pieces back on i mean i can't because i don't know how to do it i tried welding santa's workshop tried to help i'm really bad I'm bad. I'm really bad. Like, unnaturally bad at welding. Looks like you got valves for the exhaust. It's probably what used to go there. It looks like you probably got some exhaust damage, a lot of heat shield damage. Of course, the superficial damage. And then who knows what else is lying underneath. But seriously, like the structural part, all of this, it all looks to be straight and in really good shape. Even under here, I call that like a frame rail. It looks to be in good shape. Yes, you've got suspension damage and all of this stuff going on. But these are all parts you could buy used guys you can buy a bumper on ebay i wish ebay was a sponsor of the channel they're not but i'm just saying all of this stuff you could most likely find on ebay or carparts.com again not sponsored it's just one of those companies that i utilize you could find most of the stuff to put this car back together to me it doesn't look that bad where's rich rebuilds at rich where are you at i know you had one of these it's about time for another one this one's a little bit newer and it's the roadster man you can drop the top on this uh you can't get into it can't open the doors um obviously this thing is is taped up pretty good but man and i bet it cleans up nice i'd love to know what color this wrap is and where it was done so if you do put it back together you can go back to that wrap place and hopefully get the wrap you know installed on the body panels beautiful car though man absolutely love it this is one that i would really 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 love to have but apparently they are not trying to sell it now sitting right down for the bmw i found this little ford exploder 2013 it says that it's from a credit corp which usually means repossession not insurance related but this thing's got some it's got some damage which means it probably was a repo 
<laughs> a lot of times you'll see the repos, man. They got busted windshields. They got dents and parts hanging off, bumpers flying out, flapping in the breeze on the highway and stuff. This one resembles that. It, it, it could definitely be a repo. It's a little rough. I don't know how many miles or anything around it. We're going to walk around it real quick. Oh, yeah, a little. Yeah, I'm the more I'm looking at this, the more screams repo, guys. Yeah, this one's kind of rough. I wonder what engine is in it. It's boy, it's got some gnarly dings and dents. Somebody crunched up the bumper right there. Somebody hit it right here on the bumper. This is dented pretty good. You got a real nice dent right here, man. Like somebody smacked a car door right into that. You can clearly see it more dents down there. The window tint is falling off. I'll bet money it smells like pot. Oh, the windshield's busted. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh yeah, the windshield is totally screwed, man. It's it's all busted up on the passenger side. Uh, the bumper is literally hanging off on both sides. I think the bumper is only hanging on by this one fender flare right here, if you can even call that a fender flare. This is rough. You got the splitter, the spoiler down here falling off. The bumper is very loose. Let's check out the interior. Guaranteed. It's gonna smell like pot, I, I promise you. Pot and cigarette burns everywhere. Well, maybe not. Maybe I was, oh, ooh, whoa, too. <laughs> um, no, it does not smell like pot. I'm, I'm shocked, but it, whoo. That smells real bad. <laughs> this is, this is horrible. Look at those nasty seats, man. Ooh. It smells pretty bad. Uh, the window tint is god awful. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, do we have burned up seats? No. Yes, we do. Yes. Oh, yeah, we do. There is at least one cigarette burn in that seat. Look at that cracked window too, all the way across, man, over in the driver's line of sight. Um, yeah, surprising. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like pot though. Oh, I, I, I knew I was going to smell pot when I got in this, but I, but I don't. But maybe there's some evidence laying around here. Let's see. What is this? Nin 99 cents cigars. <laughs> Come on now. You guys already know. Don't play. You already know. What is this? Like an ignition switch? Maybe that was... Yeah, I bet this was the ignition switch that sat behind here. Guarantee you it was. So somebody had to swap out the ignition switch, probably because it was a repossession. What does it say? Switch computer interrupter. I guarantee you. And look, new keys. Brand new keys. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> it's a repo. But then I guess they got... No, these are new too. These are brand new. Yeah, both of these are brand new key fobs. This does nothing. So that must just be a spare like a valet key. Yeah, somebody came out here and made brand new keys for this. Yeah, definitely a repossession. Oil change, 4, 5 of 23. Slightly overdue. 161,000 miles is when it was due for an oil change. It's got 158,000 though. So it, it's not even due for the oil change yet. Low tire pressure, door ajar, blah, blah, blah. TPMS light? It's filthy. Like, this thing is disgusting. More more cigar. Uh, yeah, you already know. They were rolling spliffs in here, man. That's what it was. That's what it was. I was right. Even though it doesn't smell like pot in here, I was absolutely right. It runs good. I, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. Ooh, it, it's rough. It is. It, this is a very rough vehicle, but I mean... If you took a little time with it, redid the window tent, replaced the windshield, put a rear view mirror on it, really clean this thing up. Goes into gear fine, backwards, forwards. Miles aren't too bad. You know, 158,000 miles isn't bad. We'll check under the hood and see what she's working with. Let's try out the uh, air conditioning. I'm, I'm, I'm low-key interested in this. Let's turn the air all the way on and see what happens. We got rear climate control as well. That's nice. Radio, does it work? Yeah, it works. That's all you need to know. AC, yes, no, vents are busted up. Like, this thing's had a hard life, man. This, this, this is rough. Let's see if that window works. Less important window works. Yep. It's got the, the rear climate as well, which is really nice. It needs a hell of an interior detail, though. It's really bad. And guys, I ain't got nothing for air conditioning coming out of this. Oh, because it wasn't on. Let's try that. Let's turn on max AC. Any day now. Good God, that's hot. 
That is hot air. I don't think the AC works. I got to get out of here, man. Oh, wow. You know, if this goes really cheap, maybe I'd be interested in it. Steering feels good. I mean, the brakes feel good. Everything feels fine. There's no warning lights on the dash. It started up without a jump start, which is kind of unusual for us guys. I would open the hatch, but I'm afraid it's going to hit this car, so I'm not going to bother with it. This needs, uh, God, this needs some lube. This needs a lot of TLC. Somebody obviously was holding the bumper on with uh, zip ties, so that's, uh, you know, that's how you do it right there. I'll bet money that if you get underneath all of this dirt, you find hail damage. This is not a twin turbo, so this is what, a 3.7? Where is that? 3.5. 3.5 liter. I thought the 3.5 was twin turbo and the 3.7 was naturally aspirated. Guess I could be wrong. Looks like it's got a newer battery. There's the battery hold down. Somebody didn't bother putting it back on. They just threw it there. So that's always nice as well. Yeah, this was not loved, guys. This, <laughs> this was not loved. And the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm... Oh, God, that just did it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Not interested. AC does work, though. There it is. It's taking its time, but it's coming to life. If you needed cheap transportation, here you go, man. This 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 could be okay. I, I don't think I golly. I don't think I need this in my life though. But I am, however, thinking about looking at this uh Ford Expedition over here. I kinda like this. So I decided I wanted to check this out because I really like it. You know, this has got to be like an Eddie Bauer edition or a limited trim package because it's got the two-tone. They always do that on like Eddie Bauer and limiteds. You get the you get the two-tone paint. You got this diamond black, uh, high metallic. It's hard to see through all the dirt, but I can see it. High metallic, beautiful, like diamond paint, diamond black paint. Then you got this beautiful high metallic gold all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous expedition right here, guys. I'll bet it's an Eddie Bauer. No, it's an XL T. It's an XLTEL, which I assume somebody out there doing donuts. Hell no, man. You serious? Anyway, <laughs> uh, flex fuel vehicle. It's an XLT, which is just above the uh, the XL. So it's it's a nicer trim, but EL should be like extended length or something like that. So long wheelbase. And then I noticed this. I saw this, and this is how it always goes for me. When I find something, I'm like, that's really nice. I like it. Obviously, back end is bent. The wheel's bent in. There's all kinds of damage. Everything over here is damaged. Door still works, though. This is pretty nice. It doesn't smell great, but it doesn't smell horrible either. Like, this is something I can, I can manage this one. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't see that coming. Everything else looked really good in here. Oh, that's a funky smell. That's, that's a real funky smell. Oh, we got more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cigarettes is what this is. It's not pot. This is cigarettes. Ashes everywhere. God, you know, it It doesn't matter. It's not my car, right? It's not my car, not my problem. But I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Even when I smoked, guys, I smoked like my whole life. I started smoking when I was young, like 13 years old. Even when I was a smoker, I never did that to my cars. I never ashed in my cars. You know what I mean? Not in a million years would you have caught one of my vehicles with ashes all over the interior like that. Not ever. I just had more respect. I had to work for everything I had, even if it was a, a, a forgive my language, but even if it was a shitbox, a shitbox. Guys, one of my first cars was a Ford Tempo. Now, back then, that was a pretty nice car. But before, before that, I paid like $200 or something for this piece of junk ford escort it wasn't even a gt it was just an escort every time you hit a big bump the headlights would fall out i was a kid i didn't know anything about cars i didn't understand how anything worked i didn't do any maintenance it also had a blown head gasket i drove that thing for months with a blown head gasket i just kept putting more water in it <laughs> literally water just dump water in it eventually i seized the engine but i drove the hell out of that car and when you hit a big enough bump the headlights would fall out they'd be hanging out of the front the bumper sometimes would come right off the front and you'd have to shove it back in there you know even with that crappy car I worked for that money. That was my money and that was my car. And even though it was a piece of junk, I never ashed all over the interior like that. But again, you know, different strokes for different folks, man. It's, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it does. It's like, why do you take, have some pride, you know, have some pride. You had to work for this, right? You paid for this. Take some pride in what you own. Anyway, rant over. 
see what's next. Let's go for a walk, guys. God, this thing's been here forever, too. I mean, this has literally been here forever. Let's go look at the uh, the pickup date. I had a lot of people get mad because I just sold the Explorer, right? The Explorer, I listed it, and it sold so fast. And I had a lot of people really upset with me because, like, you should have given that to Nick. You should have given that to your daughter. Listen, guys, while I appreciate everybody telling me what I should do and what I need to do with my money and my cars, I always appreciate that. Uh, at the end of the day, I've already got something planned out for my daughter. And Nick, we got something planned out for him too. I, I need you guys to just do me a favor and accept that I can make good choices for my own family, right? Uh, I, I've got it all taken care of. There's a reason that I sent the Explorer down the road. It's called money. It's called money. Uh, I did really well, really well on the Explorer selling it. And I did even better with the YouTube views on that car. That truck did phenomenal on YouTube and at the sale. There was nothing but money in that Ford Explorer, which is why I got rid of it. Because now I'm gonna take that same money and I'm gonna buy something way better for my daughter. Yeah, that's right. And in fact, I'm already, I'm already bidding on it. I'm already winning on it, or winning on it. I'm already winning it. So yeah, this is the one. You guys remember this one? It's got, it's got the radio's missing, all the speakers are missing, the door panels are barely hanging on. This thing has been here uh, since when? September of 2023. Wow. I'm telling you guys, some of this stuff, it just sits here forever. Now, I was actually with my daughter and uh, my grandkids the other day, and I spent a few hours over there hanging out with them. And she is saving up. She doesn't know that I'm buying a car. She doesn't watch my videos, which I think is, I, that's great. I prefer, I prefer that, you know, my family not watch my videos. Um, this isn't too bad, unless it's wrecked on the other side. Um, but anyway, she doesn't watch my videos, so she doesn't know anything about this. But she was telling me the types of vehicles she's going to be saving up for. She's like, I already know what I want. I'm going to save up my money, and I'm going to buy this. Well, it just so happened. This is pure coincidence. Pure coincidence. What she said she wanted, I wasn't sure what she would want. So literally, I'm buying her two vehicles. Two. And she can pick the one that she wants, whichever one she likes best, unless I end up not winning one of them. I bid, I'm bid. i bidding on and winning two of them because I wanted to make sure that I got something that was suitable for her. Both of them are really nice vehicles. But as it turns out, it was crazy. She told me she really wants this type of vehicle. And I was like, no joke, because I'm literally winning the vehicle that she said she wanted, but in a way nicer trim level, a way nicer trim package than what she was wanting. And little does she know, I'm not gonna make her pay a dime for it. I'm literally buying it for her and I'm giving it to her free of charge. So I think she's gonna be really stoked. So please trust that I know what's best for my family and trust that I'm gonna make the best decisions for them. I don't need people telling me what I should do or what I need to do or it, it, the best ones are the comments telling me how disappointed people are. I am disappointed that you sold the Explorer. Okay, uh, that's great. Good for you, I'm sorry you're disappointed. I don't know why, it's my car, it's my money. Um, but you know, everybody's entitled to an opinion. And I try to respect that, but you know, just let me make the decisions for my family, please. Dead is a doorknob. I like this. this. is an electric one. This is interesting. This is from Pedal as well. For all the people that are about to hit the comments and say, what is Pedal? Well, let me tell you what it is real quick. I get this in every video. Every video that I show a pedal car, immediately I get tons of questions about what is Pedal. I explain it over and over, but at the same time, you got to understand, there's a lot of people that are watching the channel for the first time that, where's the, there it is that have not seen any of my other videos. Is this pure electric? This is only electric? No way. Well, if it's dead, a boost pack ain't gonna help. I mean, we could put a jump on it, that ain't gonna do any good. Yeah, this is a pure electric car, isn't it? No way. Whoa! What? Whoa! I'm buying this for my daughter. Oh yeah. Guys, I guarantee a bad battery. I, I guarantee you, bad battery. Damn thing's decent. It really is. This looks decent for a Ford Focus. I didn't even know they made one in electric. I had no idea. What year is this? A 2012. Yeah, I guarantee you, battery's dead. Uh, what is it? 12 year old, 12 year old battery? 
Yeah, this, this thing's dead as a door now, I guarantee it. This is in pretty nice shape though. Hell, I might buy it. It might be worth it just to see, you know, maybe. Yeah, it's, it literally says right on the back, electric. I'm a dummy. All right, so what is pedal? Well, pedal is very interesting and I love pedal cars and I probably shouldn't be telling you guys this because all it's gonna do is make more people wanna buy the cars that I'm looking at. So pedal is a company, they buy pretty much anything. They buy junk, all right? They buy completely junk cars that are worth nothing but they also buy decent cars that people just want to sell. Basically, it's kind of like, I don't want to compare them to GiveMeTheVin.com. Not sponsored, of course, not sponsored by Pedal or GiveMeTheVin.com, just saying. You can go there to their website, you can tell them what you got, and they'll come back with an offer. You know, does it run, does it drive? You just tell them the truth about your car, and they'll make you an offer. Whether it's a nice car, a good car, a horrible car, a junk car, they will make you an offer. And if you accept it, they'll come pick it up. And then they just send it to auction and they sell it. And you know, sometimes they make money and sometimes they lose money. It's just the way their business model works. I've actually spoken to the people that run Pedal and they explained all of this to me because I thought back in the day, Pedal was only junk cars. It's not. I've bought a lot of vehicles from Pedal. As a matter of fact, that nice Ford Explorer that I just sold and made killer profits on, it only needed a fuel pump. That's it. I put a fuel pump in it and I was driving down the highway. 550 bucks is what I gave for it. That was a pedal car. So that's pedal for you. Maybe you're gonna get one that's got a blown engine. Maybe you're gonna get something with a bad battery. Maybe you'll buy something with a bad transmission or maybe you'll get something that somebody just got rid of because it was an estate sale. Maybe it was somebody's family that passed away. They couldn't deal with having to sell it to the public and deal with tire kickers and they just sent it down the road. Maybe you're gonna get lucky and maybe you won't. It's a mixed bag and that's what I really enjoy about it. I love pedal, I do, I love pedal. I recommend that if you're gonna buy something, um, whether it's pedal or from anybody else, I recommend you go out and like look at the cars first. Sorry if I'm shaking you guys around. I'm trying to uh, get my booster pack out because I'm genuinely interested in this little electric Ford. I guarantee you we're gonna have a bad battery, but that's fine. I, I, I still might buy this. Come on, there we go. Booster pack engaged. Let's see if we can, uh, can we get on here and get a little, get a little juice. There it goes. Don't you go flying off now. The wind is crazy today. But anyway, pedal, pedal's awesome. Um, you win some, you lose some. You know, it's kind of like win, lose, or draw, man. You, you never know what you're gonna get. That's why I enjoy it. It's gambling and it's fun. We got juice. It's got battery. Wow, not much. Good Lord, 48 miles is all you get? Damn, that would barely get me to buyers. <laughs> it wouldn't get me home either. Stop now. See manual, service. It's complaining because it's too close to the car behind it. Let's move it up just a hair. This has 666,000 miles. Hold on, that can't be right. Give me a second, guys. Let me AC on. Can we just turn this down? Everything is dinging and beeping and making noise. Jesus, leave me alone. Oh, it doesn't move. It, it doesn't move. And I don't... I'm trying to turn this down. I don't think the AC works either. This is awful. So drive... It does. It doesn't. Does not drive. Is it because the hood is open? Do you think? I'm not sure, guys. So here, here's what I've got. Uh, I don't think we have air conditioning. It shows. Oh, I said 666,000. It's got 66,663 miles. That's very little mileage. 48 miles. It's almost fully charged, so that is exceptionally disappointing. And I'm telling you, AC, it, it says AC is on. We ain't, we ain't got nothing. Important window works, less important window works. Brakes feel good, steering, oh. It has no steering either? Oh, what a hunk of junk, man. I thought this car was gonna be awesome. I thought for sure the battery was bad, but it shows that it's got mileage. And the battery's dead. 
because what whatever is supposed to be working isn't working. Like maybe it's got a bad inverter. This battery is not charging up. I guarantee you the whole car just went dead. Guarantee it. It's definitely killing my booster pack. So there's something very wrong with this car. When the high voltage battery shows that it has like 46 or 48 miles of range, the car should move, um, I would think. But then again, without the battery charging up, there's something, something's very wrong with this one. This is interesting though. I, I'm intrigued by this. Yeah, it's dead. Everything is off. Uh, I, I was more interested in it when I thought I had a bad battery. Now, I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to just walk away from this little electric Ford Focus. With that, I'm going to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.